Hello, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello, hello, fellow diamond painters. DP crazy lady. Uh, it's still the uh, 6th of April. Uh, it is now 8.15 uh, p.m. It's in the evening, 2024. Uh, I thought I'd come on and show you. I finished this little section here if it's visible. I want to turn the light out a second because it is so beautiful. I am loving this uh, pinson. I mean, the colors. I hope you can see them. I mean, they're gorgeous. And the sparkle, which you can't see, it's over that way a little more. Uh, let's see if I can... I don't know if you can see any of the sparkle uh, up in here. Probably not. Depends on my camera and the lighting. And I see I got... Uh, you know, shadows. If I put it right over top like this, then I can't see everything here. And it's right in my eyeballs. Um, that little light. Oh my gosh, it is bright. I had it on. I'm going to have to hook it up after and show you guys in my next video. Because uh, I have to... Uh, put another little charge thing on my uh, strip that I have down there because this, uh, the camera or the, uh, the, uh, yeah, Ele the, oh, geez, my light behind here, <laughs> but why are words leaving me? Anyway, uh, when I turn it on, it's on its own uh, little charger and it's a USB and I'd have to unplug it and plug the other one in. So I have to put one of the other uh, chargers. I think I have one slot left uh, that I can put that light in. It is going to come in so handy when I do the cross stitch. But when I had it on here, just to see, you know, how it would look, I didn't have to put my back light on. I could see everything on there and the magnify, I mean... If you've got poor eyesight, and mine is okay, but I have to wear my glasses more. And when I was doing cross-stitch, I have to wear my glasses and use a magnifier in order to see the material. Because the squares are so small. So, uh, it, it worked it's beautiful. It was worth the price, and I don't, I'm going to have to look... Or asked my daughter, you know, how much was it? Because I told her, I said, she ought to get one for herself. And she said, no. Nah. She said, what do I need it for? I don't. <clears throat> she diamond paints. But she's still working on that same one she started last year. And uh, she did a little bit on it uh, about a week ago. So she has done some. So hopefully you can see. Um, I have it set up to start on here. I was going to just, uh, oh, my piece, uh, talk about, um, what went on yesterday. Oh my gosh. I left here at 1230 yesterday and, uh, because I was going to meet my mom up at, uh, Aldi's at between quarter to one and uh, one o'clock. I had walked out the door and then forgot I had, uh, left my bags in the house. So I came back in and just as I came back in, the phone rang and it was my mom and she said, I wanted to know if it could come here, if she could swing by here first because she had some gifts for my daughter for her birthday. And uh, I said, oh, mom, I said, I wish you would have you know, told me last night, uh, the night before, I said, because I'm leaving now, I got to get gas in the car or I won't be able to do all the running. I said, but if you want, I said, when we're done at Aldi's and, uh, you know, we can swing back here because it'll be on the way to pick up our um, uh, prescriptions at the drugstore and it'll be right on the way to Walmart. And she said, oh, okay, that, that, that'll be fine. So I went down, I got gas and uh, I got up to Aldi's and just as I pulled in and parked, she pulled in. So it was like a perfect 
timing. Neither one of us had to sit and wait. And, of course, it was blustering outside. Uh, the snow was more like uh, ice pellets, you know, smacking you in the face. And so, because it was, like, cold enough to snow, but warm enough to rain, you know, type thing. And it just, it was a combined effort on Mother Nature's part because it just beat the crap out of you smacking you in the face and the wind was just oh it was awful so we went in Aldi's and we got everything we had to get there and uh, I had also told my mom that once we were done at Aldi's we were running down to the Chinese restaurant because I told her for part of her birthday present uh I uh, told her to go down there and get a takeout container and just pile whatever she wanted on there. And she said, well, how much can you get in it? And I said, well, don't worry about it. If you, you know, if, if you can't get all the stuff you want to get, because it, like I said, it's been longer than two years since she has bought or ha has been able to eat out at a Chinese restaurant. So I told her, I said, well, don't worry about it. Just start piling stuff in. Um, and she was just so tickled, and the guy that, uh, went, I mean, this is how much I used to spend at that Chinese restaurant, not talking money, uh, I walked in, and he knew who we were immediately, and I had not seen him in almost a little over two years, and I walked in, he goes, oh, he said, where you been, where you been, and then I told him about being a diabetic, and certain foods I you know, stay away from or can't eat or whatever. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And uh, I said, oh, no, I said, I'm fine now. It just, you know, I have to watch what I eat and how much of it and so on and so forth. So my mom started pounding stuff on. Well, by the, I made, uh, well, we ended up walking out of there with four styrofoam containers. <sighs> Uh, my mom got the first one, and then I said, okay, let me get one here for uh, Daddy. You know, we'll uh, take send something home to him. And he likes the stuffed shrimp, and he likes the, uh, the dessert, the pudding stuff they have there. And he'll eat some of the noodles, and he likes the, um, I think it's the stuffed mushrooms, I think, or something. So I put a, you know, a good helping and stuff in the container for him. And at that time, uh, my mom was working on her second container. And I mean, she was a pile in it. <laughs> and uh, I told my daughter, I said, well, I said, I said, I wasn't going to get my Chinese this month. And I said, you know what? I said, let's get one container. And I said, I won't one piece, I went two little pieces of the uh, peanut, uh, the peanut chicken, uh, two pieces of the, um, or not the sesame chicken, because I, they, they had another chicken there that was chicken with big whole mushrooms and stuff, and I liked the mushrooms more than anything else, so I had her put a little bit of that in there and some uh, stuffed mushrooms. I said, after that, you put what you want on it. I said, you know, when we get home, we'll split that container. Well, there was hardly anything in there uh, when we brought it home. I mean, it was, uh, there was just enough in there for each of us to have a tiny little helping of something. And, she, oh, and I had one egg roll. Yeah, I had one egg roll and she had an egg roll. She couldn't even finish what she was eating because her stomachs have gotten smaller and I just ate that little bit of it and by the time I took my last bite I was like uh oh that's it I'm done you know I got my fill of it and it was just so good something I hadn't had in over two years I said oh man I said well I won't be doing that again for another two years you know that that's it that's you know I mean, I checked, I checked my glucose after the meal, and it was hardly raised. I mean, 
I think I started out at like 90. And by the time I was finished the meal and waited a half hour or so to see what my glucose would be, it was at, uh, I think, 120. And then two hours after, I checked it and it was way below 100. Way below, it had dropped all the way back down to like, I think, 92 or something like that. So that's good. That That is good. That means that I'm, you know... It's, I, I didn't have to worry about it, I guess. Um, but anyway, we left the Chinese restaurant. She put all that stuff in her trunk. And she has one of them coolers in there. And uh, we left there. And we get almost, I'd say about a quarter of a mile from uh, our uh, my place. And she calls me on the phone. Uh, I, I never thought I'd have a car where if somebody calls you, your radio answers it type thing, you know, call I just, I know I'm old, but I just find that, you know, like amazing to me. I don't have a cell phone, but she, she called on my daughters and uh, it rang through, you know, she's got, daughter's got it set up for it to ring on there. So anyway, she called and she said, oh my goodness, she said, uh, she said, I think I think I have a flat tire. I have a flat tire, and uh, I said, "Well, what are you talking about?" She goes, "Well, the light is flashing on the uh, dash, um, saying the tire's either flat or low or something." And oh my gosh, oh my gosh! So we pulled over. We were just at a Giant Eagle uh, gas station. I said, "Well, pull over there and we'll I'll check it." Well, I checked. I kicked those tires and pushed on them, and they didn't feel flat to me. And uh, she was just so worried, so concerned. I said, well, let's run down here to Flynn's because that's where I bought my tires. And I said, they'll, they'll check your tires for free. They'll put air in them. You know, they'll do a diagnosis if there's something going on, you know, and they'll do it for free. So we drove down there and uh, he checked it. And my mom's car, I think is a 2013 Toyota Camry. And, uh, so he, he said, well, let me get the, the, this, he had this little diagnostic tool because he said, well, first off, your tires are over inflated. He said, they're at 35, they should be 32. And, uh, he said, um, let me see. And he took this thing out, uh, and he checked the stems where the, you know, where you put the air in. And apparently, and see, I didn't even know this. I mean, I knew there were sensors somewhere. I just didn't know they were in the the little gauge thing where you put your air in, you know, the little tube thing. Anyway, um, he said, uh, he said the, the left rear sensor is dead. It, it's quit working. He said the other three are going. He said, so that's why your light is staying on telling you, you know, that there might be something wrong with your tires. It's, there's nothing wrong with your tires. It's the sensor. And I tried to convince my mom of that. And she worried and worried and worried. Uh, but he said, no. He said, you won't. The, the tires will not go flat. You know, you'll have air in your tires. It's just, you know, your sensors are bad. So I don't know if her tires are still good. But the sensors are bad. I wonder if it's just like you take it and they replace those tubes because the, the sensors are on the ends of the and the inside, you know, of those. I used to know what they were called exactly when I was in auto mechanic school, but don't ask me now because I can't remember. Because, uh, they, had, you know, you'd ask for a specific name. That That's what you'd get. So anyhow, uh, we convinced her enough to say, okay, you're going to be fine. There's no problem. Well, we came back here, and uh, my mom gave my daughter a few, you know, things for her birthday, and she gave her, like, 20-some dollars worth of uh, lottery tickets because, you know, they're scratch-offs. Because I told my mom, I said, just get her a couple, you know, lottery tickets. Even if you don't win anything, it's fun to scratch them off instead of buying, 
you know, more perfume or more bath products or other stuff. We've got bunches and we just don't need anything else. But she got her a few little uh, perfumes or hand lotion type things and gave her those lottery tickets. Uh, my daughter scratched them off later. She only won $2, period. And that's ridiculous. But anyhow, so we uh, left here and uh, went ahead and went up to uh, Walmart. And like I said, by the time we got up to Walmart, my mom was still worrying. Oh my gosh, the tires, you know, my, you know I hope I did nothing good. As a mom, I, the only way I could explain it to her and try to get her to understand it, I said, Mom, you know, because my mom's a worry wart when it comes to some things. And I, I don't blame her. You know, being uh, farther away from home, if her car breaks down, you know, she's got to worry. Uh, you know, I got to get this towed or, and, you know, daddy can't come out anymore. He, he doesn't have a car hauler anymore. And, you know, so, but he knows enough people. He's been around long enough with all the either junkyards or auto places and everything else. He can make a call and they'd, they'd do it and probably not charge a dime, you know. But anyhow, I told her, I said, Mom, think of it as a refrigerator. I said, the refrigerator's working, but the light bulb is burned out. I said, so all you have, I'm trying to look for these colors. Sorry. Uh, I think I got enough of the, well, here's some. Uh, I said, you know, all you have to do is replace the light bulb. The refrigerator still works. You just can't see what's in it. I said, so that's the way the tires are. The tires are working. I said, they're fine. You just have to replace the little stems. That's what they're, they're, they're little air tube stem things anyway so you just have to replace those i said you know so the, the refrigerator works but the light bulbs out i said so it's your tires are working but it's light bulb is out <laughs> you know and so she oh yeah yeah okay okay you know she said, but you know i worry i said i know so uh we headed there like we said we got to walmart and she went through there, and uh, I'm running over to get what I need and everything else. The next thing I know, they disappear. I can't find them anywhere, and Walmart's a big place. And I'm looking all over for them, looking all over for them, and I'm getting more and more tired. I mean, I had been up since 4 a.m., puppy, and, uh, you know, we didn't get up, you know, we I'd been up that whole time, and, you know, started running at 1230 and oh my gosh I'm telling you it was like uh, this happens you know every month if, if she goes it's it, I know I already know it's an all-day excursion it, it just is and it's not her fault or anything it's not uh, you know it just it is because you know if you go by yourself you know you go in you get what you need you get out and that's the kind of shopper I am <clears throat> I'm the type where, you know, I don't window shop. I've always hated window shopping. I always figure I know what I want when I, you know, before I go there, I go, I get, I leave. That's it. I don't just walk around a store just to walk around a store and look. At, that's just not my cup of tea. I used to hate it when I was a kid. <clears throat> and go with my mom when it was time to get school clothes. Oh my gosh, I hated it because I hated trying on the clothes. I hated, uh, let me see if I move this, oops. I just unplugged this. Hold up, hang on you guys. I'm charging my phone and, let me see if I can get it over here. I'm charging the phone and there we go. I hope you're still there. Are you still there? Yeah, it's still going. Sorry. Uh, you know, I, as a kid, you know, my mom, we have to go get our school clothes. And I hated going because I hated, you know, here's three or four outfits. Go in there, try them on. Okay, let's see how they fit. Let's see. Okay, does it have a big enough hem so you can maybe wear them next year? We can just let the hem down. And blah, 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 you know. And it would be an all day thing and I hated it and I hate it to this day 
I don't like going to try clothes on. I don't buy clothes particularly. You know, if I if I need something, I grab. You know, I know about what size I wear. I grab it. I go home. If it don't fit, I take it back. You know, or adjust it. You know, for me or something. But anyway, so you know, I lost them in the store, and I'm looking all over for them. <clears throat> Finally, find them, and they're done. I'm and I, you know, got what I needed. I said, okay, let's check this out. You know, I said, okay, mom. I said, are you done? Is there anything else that you need or you know, wandering? She said, oh no, no. She said, I'm, you know, I appreciate it. I'm happy. You know. It's good. So uh, after we left there, she she uh, said our goodbyes. She was still in the parking lot when we left. So I thought, okay. She said she was going to call Daddy and tell him, don't eat anything, honey. You know, uh, I'm bringing home some Chinese food for you. You know. Uh, so. I figured that's what she was doing because it looked like she was on her phone. Oh, and and before we uh, before we even got up to Walmart too, she had to stop at, at uh, a, a hardware store because she had to exchange some furnace filters because uh, she had bought some from another place in her area and they didn't fit. And instead of the guy exchanging them or. Uh, letting her just give them back and she was going to buy different ones or something that would fit her furnace he said well you can just cut them and she said why do I want to cut them if you've got some that fit why do I want to buy ones that are too big so I have to cut them because they're in cardboard you know well whatever filters you have I don't have that kind of filter mine is just a straight piece of uh, it's real rough stuff you know that just like the filters made only mine doesn't have trim around it it just slides in so anyway uh, you know so she went to a uh, hardware store and she went in and they were she said I can't believe how reasonable they were and they're the right size so she was going to be taking the other ones back so maybe that's what she was doing in the parking lot <clears throat> you know looking to see if they were still open or whatever because by the time we got back, I got, my daughter and I got back in our area, we stopped and picked up uh, our prescriptions, and, um, let's see, and what to, and, oh, yeah, we, we picked up the prescriptions, oh, and then we had, her and I had to run down to the bank to drop some money in the bank, then from the bank we had to run over to, uh, Myers because they're the ones that had the uh, Kohlrabi that I wanted. Thank goodness they had a couple small bunches, but at least they had them. And then they had, I noticed they had some really nice acorn squashes. I had to have a drink of coffee, excuse me. I'd already finished drinking two big tumblers about this size of water. Congratulate me. I drank water. I put a little of the flavor enhancers in them. Excuse me, but I've been drinking water, at least one or two of them every day. So I pat myself on the back. Congratulations. Excuse me a minute. Okay, so huh, is my story boring yet? Because boy, I'm telling you, it's boring me because it's like reliving it all over again and tiring me out. Uh, so, uh, they had a really nice acorn squash, beautiful acorn squashes, real reasonable. So I got one because uh, I don't want them to go bad before we eat them. And uh, from there, then we had to, uh, it would be uh, on my way back home, we stopped at uh, the Giant Eagle uh, down here by me because they're the only ones that seem to carry the coffee that we buy. The uh, silk in the ground by Folgers uh, and uh, the Noir in the uh, Instant. Uh, nobody else carries it. So, there you go. We got those. And then we headed home. Because I still had 
a few other things I did not get, but I told my daughter, I said, that's it. I said, we're going home, putting all, unloading all these groceries, and then we're going to eat. I said, because this is ridiculous. By the time we got home, it was like 5.30. So you figure, I left the house at 12.30. Well, I'd been up since 4 a.m., left the house at 12.30. So from 12.30 to 5.30, that's how much running I'd done that day. I was so tired. I mean, I was at the point where I was so tired, I couldn't sleep. And I know others have been there. I just, no matter how much I tried last night, I could not go to sleep. <coughs> at all. I mean, I think I finally passed out. And I mean, I must have passed out because I don't remember going to sleep. Uh, I passed out at probably... Well, the last time I looked at the clock, it was like 3 a.m. So, and then uh, I got, I woke, I woke up at uh, 9. I don't like getting up that late, but I woke up and I got some right there. I'll get back to them later. Let me get the other color. So I woke up at uh, 9 and... Uh, I had, uh, I had my, I want to check my glucose. It was real good, real good. I think it was, well, I think it was 85, something like that. And sometimes when, uh, when it hits like 80, my machine, I must have my machine calculated wrong or something because it'll hit, if it says that my glucose is 80, It'll say, you know, low. It's too low. And, you know, I, so I think I have it set wrong. I'm going to have to read the book on it and, and set it again, you know, because then it starts giving me this thing where, oh, you better check this out and you better, you know, uh, you, you, you've got a, a, something is consistently, you know, high or consistently low. Is there a problem? Is there, you know, and it's not, I just think I hit the wrong buttons. So, I got a bad drill here. Uh, so, I had uh, my coffee, and oh my gosh, I had gotten the uh, uh, cottage cheese, and I'd been missing the cottage cheese for the last about week, week and a half. I ran out of it, and, uh, I wasn't going to pay down here at the dollar store. I wasn't going to pay almost $5 for a little tub of cottage cheese. And I didn't have a whole lot of gas to run up to the other stores, so I did without. But anyway, oh my gosh, I got that cottage cheese and put those tomatoes on it. And I was in seventh heaven on cottage cheese and tomatoes. Sorry. <laughs> it just, I love it. And uh, so I had that, and uh, I knew that I was going to have to go down to the uh, pharmacy again because uh, Sonia's doctor, uh, for her ankle, her ankle's been bothering her the last two or three days, and he said it could be the weather, you know, would affect that metal in her leg and her ankle. I'm feeling stuffed up. <coughs> oh. Uh, that it might bother her when the weather gets this, you know, gets cranky. If the weather gets cranky, her ankle gets cranky. Uh, so he did call in a, a small amount prescription uh, pain pills because she only, she breaks them in half, so she don't even take a full dose. She said just enough to take the edge off of you know the the pain in the ankle until it. You know, she gets used to it, or heck, who knows, it could get worse. But anyway, so I knew I had to do that. I know I'm blabbering about mundane stuff, aren't I? <laughs> it's, at least for once, I had something to talk about, y'all. Yikes. Uh, whether it's interesting or not, that's beside the point. <laughs> I can fill up a video now. 
So, uh, I knew I had to do that. Plus, I still had to pick up a couple things at Dollar Tree and at Dollar General. Because uh, those were, our, you know, our... Uh, I guess you call them sundries, you know, type thing. I needed uh, dish soap. I needed fabric softener. Uh, I needed a, a bag of ice because we do make iced coffee. And I use the ice for uh, when I mix with my water and enhancers and stuff. I put in ice. I, I like it really, really cold. And that way the, the taste of the enhancers get watered down a little bit more and and it tastes a lot better and i've sort of gotten used to them now so so anyway uh i needed that and then i needed um and my daughter asked for some deodorant so i see i at the at the dollar general i picked up the dish soap the fabric softener the deodorant and uh, then over at Dollar Tree, I picked up the uh, ice. And because uh, their ice is still cheaper, even though they raised they raised the ice from a buck a bag, a dollar twenty five a bag to two dollars a bag now. So good one. And uh, so the bag of ice that uh, and I got I bought the puppy. Uh, little tiny or well it's little stick treats like they look almost like pepperoni or something but they're short and i figured i could break them up you know and that way you'd have a little more treats you doesn't need to eat the whole stick of it so um so i got that stuff and picked, like i said picked up her prescription and came back home and it was like oh my god Gosh, I'm telling, and then, then when I get home, that package was here, you know. So you saw that video, and by the time I was done, I made my lunch, had a nice salad. That was really good, and uh, my daughter had bought these, um, their almond flour crackers, little teeny squares, just small squares. And uh, she had one that was a rosemary and Parmesan flavor. And the other ones, I think, were just uh, original or something. I don't remember. Or one was rosemary and the other one was Parmesan. I I had a few of those uh, with the salad. And so there wasn't a whole lot of calories or really no carbs to speak of in in that. And for dinner, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to make it again and maybe show you guys when I make it or whatever. Oh, I had bought at Aldi's, and you can do it, I suppose, if you just buy, you know, a regular rotisserie chicken and, you know, cut pieces off yourself. But uh, Aldi started selling uh, shredded uh, rotisserie in a container rotisserie chicken in a in a container it's already shredded up so and what i do is i open it up and i take out what i'm going to use right then and there and then the rest of it i put it in a freezer bag and put it in the freezer and then when there's when i want to make something with it again i break off you know the amount that i want and that way, I don't have to worry about it going bad because we won't use it that fast. So I took some out uh, and uh, I made us uh, wraps. And I got those, uh, I think they're, they're extreme wellness, I think they're called uh, wraps. They're the uh, Southwestern. Uh, oh no, the tomato basil. That's what they are. The tomato basil ones. And there's hardly no carbs in it at all. It's like 70 calories for one. And 
they taste so good. You just, I heat them up a little bit in the microwave so it makes them a little more pliable. And they're good size. They're, I'll have to show them and stuff. They're, you know, I don't know if you can see me, but, you know, they're, they're pretty good size. About an eight to 10 inch, I'd say, you know, like a smaller dinner plate or something. But anyway, I uh, mixed up that chicken in a, in a bowl and I put in some of uh, that Hughes, uh, the, the stuff that I buy from that uh, Hughes. Anyway, his chicken clucking uh, dip or whatever he calls it. And I poured a little bit of that in, in it. I uh, put in... Um, some, I sprinkled some Italian seasoning in, and then I took some of my, I have that, uh, I have Hungarian hot paprika, and I sprinkled some of that in. And then I stirred that all around, and it just tasted so good. It was really good. So I took that, and then I uh, took a little bit of lettuce and some uh, 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 spinach leaves and put those on the bottom of the uh, the wrap. I started that first. Then I laid uh, the amount of chicken across there, the shredded chicken. Then I took, uh, cut up uh, little my, those little tomatoes that I buy. They're not really called cherry tomatoes. I don't remember what these ones are, but they're, they're, oh no, they're so good. You can eat them like grapes. They taste so good. Uh, I cut up a few of those, put those, uh, spread those on top then I took um, some olives black olives and cut up some of them and put them on there and I think I told you onion and uh, then I have some uh, Asiago cheese that I grated on each one and then I fold them and wrapped them and then I made uh, and I'm gonna have to get some for my mom because she noticed them the last time I had them and she goes oh what are those are they any good and I said yeah and I wish I would have grabbed her some while we were there at Walmart but I I was so tired I just after we checked the stuff out I just wanted to go home but they're the uh, fire roasted carrots I think they're by bird's eye and they're not cheap but they're good they're good it's almost depending on how much you uh, cook them I put them in an air fryer you can do them in the oven too but uh, in the uh, air fryer, if you cook them long enough, you can really crisp them up a little more. And then it tastes like you're eating, which even when they're not, they taste like you're eating uh, sweet potato fries. But they're carrots. And they're cut all funky. You know, some are cut round, some are elongated a little, you know, in a hunk. But they are so good. And so we had that with the uh, the wrap. And oh my gosh. I'm telling you. I mean. I don't like to compare food I make. With like Subway or something like that. But some of the Subway wraps. Are really really good. Well mine was better. Oh. It was so good. And the total calories. Uh, for that meal. Was about 200 maybe about 200 and then the carbs for it the maximum carbs for that meal was probably 20 and I'm allowed 45 so uh, I didn't have a whole lot of carbs all day long so I don't want to go in ketosis and maybe that's what I'm feeling. I don't know. You get that dang on flu feeling and stuff. And I don't like that. But anyhow. That's what we had for dinner. And it filled me up. Now I did a little while ago have. About a half a bag. Of popcorn. Which I do like popcorn. Last night for a snack. I had one stock. No, no, one stock of celery. With about a teaspoon and a half. Of peanut butter. And uh, four of the little tomatoes. And I was full. That satisfied me. And like I said though. I had a hell of a time getting to sleep last night. Again. You know. But. I was up at. Uh, 
I was probably up about nine o'clock. Yeah, like I said nine o'clock this morning. But oh man, and then oh, and the uh, cross stitch. Uh, if it's if it's big enough, if it's too big to fit in the um, uh, lockbox uh, mailbox uh, up the office, then and the and the mailman consider it uh, a package and not a letter they will run their little station wagon truck over here tomorrow and it should be here tomorrow because it got to the post office today at about one o'clock so hopefully it'll be here tomorrow and you know y'all can tell me ahead of time you know are you interested in seeing any cross stitch or or what you know i'm I mean, I I plan on doing some, you know, like I said, one one video, one day is, you know, my cross stitch. The next one, you know, is my diamond painting. Uh, I mean, they contacted me and wanted, you know, me to do a PR of their cross stitch. So, I don't know. I never, I never thought, you know, a, a company would ask me, you know. So, I thought, okay. Then I'll do it and give it a shot. So we should see what it is tomorrow. And uh, I'll be awaiting also, I think by the 9th, somewhere around there. It isn't even shipped yet, that uh, uh, that other 60-bottle uh, storage container. Uh, I don't know. You know, V, did it take you a long time to, you know get it or you know I was just curious yeah, because like I said it was I think I ordered it on the after midnight on the first or on the second or whatever and it hasn't even been shipped yet so I, I expect that one maybe comes from China I mean way China you know way out there so because I haven't heard or seen anything yet saying that it's been, you know been shipped. So, and I did order something else. <sniffs> Dummy me, just two little things. You know, uh, we'll see when they show up. I don't know. They still get here when they get here. Uh, one is from Timu. Uh, that's before I knew she did it. And it's a good doggone thing. I didn't order what she ordered. Yikes. Because it was just, you know, one, you know, that wasn't more than like maybe eight bucks or something like that that I ordered off there. And, and I have, uh, one small little order off of Amazon. So, you guys will be seeing something else, whatever it might be. How long have I been on here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think, what is that? Is that 43 or 48? Oops, I better get off here. You guys are going to be so bored. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it had... Uh, an exciting week and now that week's over that <laughs> I mean that's it I don't know uh, oh and uh, before I said uh, Liam is afraid of that toy <laughs> I, I, I think what freaks him out is the uh, the sound you know how it clang clang you know you, you click it click it but he did figure out to get his treat he had to flip it up with his nose that's what it was. I thought they bounced out. But what it is they push it down and the treat rolls down under, uh, in down under that under the little flaps. And the dog has to take his nose and flip the flap up and he can get the treat. Well, he figured that out. It took him a few tries, but he figured it out. But I'll tell you what. Angel, the kitty, figured it out just like that. She come walking in the room and he was up on the 
couch with my daughter or something. She come walking in the room, and she didn't even bother to do any major sniffing or anything. She just walked right over, stuck her nose up under the little thingy, and checked to see if there was anything in it. Now, I can't say that cats are smarter than dogs, but this cat was smarter than this dog because she figured it out right then and there. Uh, so, but, you know, there wasn't anything there for her, of course, but uh, she figured it out. Uh, and I said, until he gets to where he's not afraid. Well, see, when we got him that wobble ball, it, that ball that makes noise when you roll it. It's like, it says it sounds like Cousin It. He was afraid of it at first, too, because it made funny noises. Now, you know, he'll pick it up. He'll roll it. it was, no, no big deal to him. So I'm hoping that maybe once it, the, the, the scariness part of it wears off and he, you know, the treats are more enticing than the noise, then maybe he'll uh, play with it. And uh, figure out the other little areas of it. I'll have to put the bone one down and see how he, if he still remembers that, you know, figuring out where his treats are. So, you know, I guess I better get off here and let y'all go. Uh, if y'all hung out, you know, through this whole video, thank you so much. Sorry for it being so long. Uh, I'm enjoying this Pinson. This one, yes. This one is beautiful. And just one last picture so y'all can see. See if I can get in there without any shadows. Come on. Can you see it? I can't tell. Uh, but I'm right here. Where this door is. So I'm right there. Uh, so, I'm enjoying it. I really, really like this one. And the squares are real nice. Had a few bad squares, but all in all, yeah. This is a good one. And I'm glad I had a good feeling about this one. I mean, I, it had been in my wish list. And then it leave for months. And then it, you know, I kept waiting for it to come back. And then it came back. And I was like, oh, I don't know. It left two or three times, and then finally it popped back in, and I said, you know what? I have the money there at that time, and I bought it last year, so or the beginning of this year. And I think I bought it last year. So, I love it. So, y'all, sorry for the babble, the craziness, whatever, but I'm going to go. I'll let you out of here. Oh, gosh, thank you so much for your comments, for your visiting. Uh your thumbs up, you know, subscribing, whatever you're doing. And I love you all. I, I really do. This time I really felt like talking and it just kind of, you know, <laughs> I remember, you know, uh, just uh, not having anything to talk about before, you know. So this time at least I had something to say. So hugs to you all. Hope your weekend is pleasant and beautiful and peaceful around family or just spending it by yourself and enjoying it. So, hugs. Love you all. DP Crazy Lady, I'm out.